What's up everybody, I'm Animus J and welcome to a redstone tutorial on how to build a hidden staircase that's going to let you go down into the ground into a secret little bunker type room and you can even conceal yourself in there as a safe AFK spot. Now it's all right here guys, it's all right here. It doesn't look like it but it's here, okay? So all I got to do is uh, this one, yeah there's my button right there, I press the button and look at that we can come on down into here and flip this switch i can afk inside of here flip the switch hop back hop back out again press the button close it up hide that nobody knows any better so let's get into the building now, normally I try to give you guys a precise shopping list so you know exactly what resources you need. On this one, it's really sort of dependent on where you're building and how you're gonna do it. So, in general, this is what you're going to need. Six sticky pistons. Now make sure they are sticky pistons. You're going to need about eight to 10 redstone repeaters. And, and again, that depends on how you're gonna do this. You will need four redstone torches, two observers. You're gonna need whatever decorative blocks you're gonna be using on the inside. You're going to need a couple of half slabs. You'll need about a half a stack of redstone dust, a lever, uh, whatever blocks you're going to be using for your stairs. And then if you're going to be using the activation that I used on J World Let's Play, then you're going to need a hopper, two droppers, a button, a, and a redstone comparator. Get out of here, Mr. Cow. Okay, let's get into it. So in choosing a location, you're going to need to choose a spot that obviously has a, a bit of an opening. You're going to need it to be about six to eight blocks wide. Um, yeah, yeah, about eight blocks wide. Um, the, the nice thing is it only really needs to be about two deep. So um, uh, with the exception of where you're going to put your button, which is going to be somewhere back here. Uh, but you do need a step up. You're going to need a block up just like this right here. Okay, so once you've decided on your location, imagine right now I'm walking down the staircase in this direction. Okay, so from your ledge, you're going to do a two by two hole like so. All right, now standing here, you're going to go down one, two, one, two. So it's a three total. All right, and you're going to put your sticky pistons one on each side. Now, the, the way you know you have this right, because this is easy to mess up, is if you put a block on top of your sticky piston, you should still have a one block gap from the surface, and that's because your sticky pistons have not yet been extended. Go ahead and stand on your sticky pistons, break out those blocks. Now you're gonna break down one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you're going to put sticky piston times two, sticky piston times two. Now from here on out, everything that we're gonna do is going to be the same for both sides, but I'm only gonna show you the one side because it is identical. I don't think I need to go through the same steps twice for you. So standing on this sticky piston at the bottom right here, you're going to break out the blocks in a pattern in basically you break it out uh, a two by two is fine. And then what you're gonna do is standing right here, break down one, two, and three, and then place a repeater there. Then come around to here, break down the same, one, two, and three, and you're gonna put a spot of redstone, and then above that, you're gonna put a torch. Notice that activated the bottom piston. That's what we want. If your bottom piston didn't activate, you didn't do something right. Okay, above that, you're going to place a half slab. Now make sure it's a top half slab because we do have to put something on top of that. Coming over to your repeater, hold sneak or shift and place an observer so that the redstone part of the observer is facing upwards. And then you're gonna put a block on top of that. And it shouldn't matter what block because I don't believe that this block is ever seen. Next step, take repeaters, put them into each of the pistons, facing into each of them just like so. Turn around, red spot, uh, redstone dust there and there. And then what you're going to do is break out this um, by two, okay? So you're gonna go two deep, redstone dust there, and then you're gonna break down one and two. At the bottom, you're gonna put redstone dust, and then you're gonna put a torch here. And that should reset your pistons just like it did for mine right there. 
Now, believe it or not, this is actually done. That is all that it takes in order to make one side of this. And we can test this simply by getting a block where any, any block that's next to this redstone dust line. And we can put a lever, lever there, powered on. And there we go. You can see that that takes our pistons up to the surface level. Alrighty, so next thing to do is go ahead and repeat what you've done for the other side. Okay, once you've got both sides set up properly, what you're going to do is you're going to tie the two of them together into one switch. Now, there's a variety of ways to do that. If you have your own way of doing that, then feel free. But here's the way that I did it on J World Let's Play and it's a way that works pretty easy and I think it looks pretty fancy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to extend the redstone signal out just a couple of blocks. Uh, huh? Yep, yep. And notice I'm making it too deep and that's because I want to conceal as much of this as possible without having to make things look unnatural. Okay, so I've brought them around to a point and then what I'm going to do is you're going to need a space. Uh, and, and this is going to bother some of you because it's not going to be symmetric. All right. Now I'm placing an iron block just so that you guys know that it's there. OK, so you know which block it is now to each side of that block down below. You're going to need a repeater connecting to your red dust, your, your dust line. And then underneath that block, you're gonna need dust connecting the two as well. Now, first we wanna test this, put a lever on top, make sure everything works, okay? If I put my blocks here, notice it's flush, turn it off, and there's my stairs, okay? So that part is working. Now, you can either leave that as a lever or if you'd rather it be a little bit less obvious, there's a few things that you can do. Go ahead and grab a comparator and put a comparator facing into that block. And then one thing that you can do is you can take a chest and you can put a chest right there in front of that comparator and then just put any item inside of that. And there you go. That's gonna activate it as well in order to turn it off just take the item back out of the chest. If you wanna do it the way that I did on my J World Let's Play, then what you're going to do, go ahead and break that comparator. We're gonna break down into the ground a little bit. So grab your two droppers, grab your hopper, and then what you're going to do is standing on your iron block, one, two spaces in front of it, you're gonna put a dropper facing up just like that. And then on top of that, you're gonna put a dropper facing towards you. Hopper going into the bottom dropper. There's lots of poppers going on right now. And then a comparator uh, sneak place click it into that iron block. Uh, now, like obviously it doesn't have to be an iron block. That's just what I use as the identifier for you guys. And, and you can even switch that out as well. It can be any block that you wanted to, as long as it's a block that transmits redstone. Now you're gonna place an item We'll go ahead and place that lever in there. And that turned it on. But the, if, if, if get out of here, you stupid animals. But that's not how we're going to activate it or deactivate it. I mean, you certainly can if you want to. But uh, the way that I did it is I put a button because a button will bud power from one dropper to the next. So what happens is this is just a teeny tiny T flip flop. So I press the button. It's going to spit that lever out. The hopper will catch it, it's going to go into the bottom dropper and it's going to sit there until I push the button again, which is also going to activate our staircase. Now when I press this again, the bottom dropper is going to spit the lever back into the top dropper and it's going to put our stairs back up again. Okay, so then you can go ahead and fill all of this in. Just make sure you don't cut off any redstone signals. Okay, coming down into our hidden room, what you're going to want to do is get down onto the bottom level and you're going to want to break out until you reach this spot right here. And then that is where you're going to put some kind of a block that you will recognize as a, basically a pillar, which is why I'm using pillars. Weird, right? 
Now, here's the thing with closing yourself in and making this uh, an AFK safe room. You, you have some options. What you can do is you can put a lever on the bottom of each one of those pillars and activate each one of them like so. Or what you can do is have the lever only on one side. You're gonna break down underneath that lever and you're going to place a spot of redstone. Then you're gonna go down another level, okay? So we need to be down two. We need to be able to see the bottom pistons, all right? And you're gonna drag that redstone. It's gonna connect to your pistons, but don't worry about it. That is not a problem at all. Okay, I cut away there for a second because I was trying to remember how to do this the right way because it is a little bit tricky. So you're gonna dig two down. So you've got your block with the lever on it, one underneath, you got your redstone there, so it's gonna power it when you hit that lever. You should see that, okay? And then you're gonna drag that redstone line around. Let me turn on the lights again. You're gonna drag it past the observer, and then when you get to this spot right here where the torch is, you're gonna put a repeater there and a spot of redstone dust there. Now you can re-extend your pillar down to there, no problem. And then you can go ahead and use half slabs to cover up this aspect of the floor. And then of course, whatever blocks you're gonna use to, to hide uh, that redstone right there. But that should enable you to close it up while you're inside of it. Okay, so believe it or not, this is the finished product. It's it's all done, it's all here, it's just all hiding. Now this doesn't look exactly natural, but you can make it look natural. Um, just You just gotta remember where you put stuff. So what I did is I, I lowered our T flip-flop dropper down, and I just got rid of the redstone dust that was underneath the iron block, and I put the iron block between the two repeaters, and then just same thing, same orientation with, with the teeth flip-flop. Uh, just drop it down, and what that does is it lets you bury all of that stuff. The only thing that can't be buried is this, which if you break the button, then you could do that, but then you would just have to come up with a button every time you wanted to place it. So you press that, you rehide your button, you come on down into here, your little secret place, you flip your switch, you go AFK, you call it a night, you do whatever you do, wake up in the morning, you come back out again, and you cut it off, cover it up, you walk away, and nobody knows any better. So if that helped you out, which I hope that it did, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. But that's it for this tutorial, guys. I'm Animus J, and I will see you next time.